Good evening, everybody, and welcome back. Mr. T here. We are going to jump right into our source reopening, finally. I know, I race, everybody's probably triggered still from uh, doing some secret lair, and we got a beta box of the sorcery contested realm. We want to see what, uh, let's see if there's some actual hype to this product. Uh, as usual, so, well, not so much usual, but a little newer for the channel. Um, anything new that we open, I'll just take requests right down below. So make sure to subscribe to the channel, comment down below if you'd be interested in getting one of these very interesting packs, checking out the product with me, and this is my first look. I, I have not watched anybody open anything, so I have no clue what to expect. Is there just one card? Nope, there's a few cards in there. Um, if you know what this is, comment below and I'll open it later. Maybe it's like one of those uh, extra bonus promo pack things. I don't know. We'll see. We're going to open the first top three um, as well. If we pull anything super interesting, I'm conflicted. I don't know if I'm going to do prices on this. Uh, since it's so new, I have seen some pricing and I'm a little thrown over. No, oh, no. Oh. They'll throw them back on them. So let's get right into it, guys. Yeah, don't forget, comment down below. Um, are you guys hyped about sorcery? Is magic dead? Are we all going to start playing sorcery now? Um, yeah, let's find out. A brob ding dag. All right, I can't pronounce the cards. I'm not playing this game. <laughs> A brob ding nag. <laughs> ding nag. Oh, oh. Okay, that felt nice. Wow, that felt nice. I still still can't terribly feel in my pointer finger due to that pinched nerve I've been dealing with for the past few weeks. But dude, that felt that felt nice. Like I are these pastel? It's oh, they're soft. That's interesting. Okay, so lava salamander, hillock basilisk. We've got a grim reaper. Oh, I do like the art. I, so I, I think that was the big draw in the hype, um, is that it, we've got a very gritty old feel to cards, back to like OG magic. And uh, yeah, I do I do like the feel. Ooh, good old Disenchant. Very nice there. Um, a Mad Dash. I like the watercolor. That's definitely like, I feel like I, I'm feeling pastels right now. Nice vibrant colors. Uh, I am feeling the card itself. Like I feel like I'm painting with like oil paint. Um, these are these are beautiful. We got a wild boar, a sea serpent. Now, one thing I've been noticing, and people are gonna have to comment below with their thoughts. Wow, that is very cool. Um, it just makes me think of the old saying that you can't run before you walk, right? So, um, I haven't been covering MetaZoo as much lately uh, for obvious reasons, like nobody nobody buys it, nobody plays it, something like that. I am still buying, I still enjoy it. I just haven't been covering it as much um, because towards the end there, some of those videos were not, they just had zero, zero attention. Nobody cared. Everybody might still not care. Ooh, dispel. Okay, so we got Disenchant and a Dispel. Those look great. But my point being is, you know, I think what kind of slightly turned me off about MetaZoo, and if something I didn't really agree with, is these, like, random insert chase card things. Like, let's see a good base game product first, and then do some wild things. Like, if you jump straight to where Magic is, what, what do you have to survive on later, right? Um, as, oh, there's our, there's our foil version. We're gonna have to, okay, we'll, no, we won't open it. We'll save it for somebody. Maybe there's something special in there, but that looks good. All right, last pack of the video. Does that make sense? Do you guys agree there? I mean, and, and that's the thing that I'm hesitant on about sorcery is that, and I like flesh and blood because they didn't really go that direction. They did make a special card. They made a, the chase card is your foil etched um it's it's super hard to get right and but it's not alternate art oh my god 
Now that is wild. These, okay, so these are pretty cool. I don't I don't know how to play. I haven't looked into any of that, but I think these are like resources, uh, similar to magic, special resources. And yeah, those are, that's why, oh, Genesis, look at your next three spells. Put them back in any order. An elite site of destiny is deciphered. And that looks really good. Um, so I think I, I think Flesh and Blood did a really good job there in executing that. Like they didn't go balls to the wall, crazy mad lad, like trying to wow you with with super alternate art foil, different kind of borders. Oh my god, that is wild. Those blues. I really like how they feel. I cannot get over that. Um, so I thought that was I. I didn't really agree nice surfacing okay there's a little little notch there i didn't really agree with the the whole jumping to straight to that so the same thing with sorcery i'm here and there's like these cool inserts and stuff like that there's no reason that these cards are already should be two three hundred dollars i just i feel like it's setting people up ahead of time to be very very angry if things don't work out um and if the game doesn't go very far like you know if you'd been if you've been buying alpha boxes for metazoo at that 500 700 dollar range like you would be ticked off right now and rightly so um i mean even even everybody in the magic community is super unhappy right about buying things at high prices and then just losing their butts on, on the value, the secondary market value. So I gotta say, wow, these cards feel amazing. Some of the arts, they really get me. I like I'm, like this card right here, I'm not a total huge fan of that. That's meh. This is pretty interesting. They're like goat eyes. That's creepy. Oh, they are goats. Ordinary Beast, Bleat, and Discord. Okay. Um, so I think I think it's really important that you have like a, a base set that's doing well first, and then you and then you pile it on with the special versions and you know like we didn't. It took years for Magic to get that, um, but we're seeing in some of these new games, these new products, like we're getting that right away. Um, and it makes me wonder, like, what what do I have to look forward to next time, right? I love playing Magic. Do I love playing all of these other games? I'd have to give it a try. I mean, I do enjoy Flesh and Blood. Um, the, the gameplay in Flesh and Blood is refreshing. I don't get to play very much. I talk about that with people, that um, the availability of playing for me and my work schedule and with my wife isn't the same as it is with magic because magic has arena so i think when flesh and blood finally gets that i will make a hard switch to flesh and blood it's kind of sad to say i mean i'll probably be i'll probably balance out the two you know do dailies or things like that between both games but at the moment just nothing has the the opportunity like the opportunity to play magic is so easy right there's opportunity everywhere no very few games i mean even pokemon even Yu-Gi-Oh, aren't necessarily at that level but magic i feel like any lgs you go to you have you can find pods that are willing to play right so opportunity is at its highest versus other games took a long time to get there and I don't necessarily, I mean, well, let's see. Let's see how it turns out. I just don't necessarily agree that, you know, if this right here is some special promo that's like $5,200, probably isn't. But um, if it is or something like that is in there, I, I don't know if I can justify that because it's a brand new game it's a brand new product and i've seen some of those prices and some of them are selling at these crazy prices and i don't know i feel like it can make people very emotional long term and very in the short term and create a lot of hate and downward pressure on the game because people feel like they just didn't get their value so see what you guys think 
Uh, these cards look beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. I can see why there is a little bit of hype around this game. They feel amazing. I like this. These the cards. <laughs> I keep saying it. Um, the, these cards. Oh, I didn't even notice. There's okay. So Atlas. Um, these might be some of the best feeling cards, and that is the weirdest thing to say. Like oh, like you go like it puts the lotion on its skin. <laughs> That's it's it just feels oh they feel good. They look good too. I mean, look at that. That's that's pretty solid. Okay. Card quality. That looks pretty darn good. I don't think magic's going anywhere though, guys. Uh again, Mr. T, make sure to subscribe. Comment down below if you'd be interested in opening up some of this product with me. I'll uh get through some shorts and open up some sorcery, give it away, and send it to you in the mail and let's have some fun. Check out this new TCG. Welcome to the market, welcome to the playhouse. Till next time, guys, keep on cracking.